Hello everyone, um, thanks for all of your comments on my last video, it was very nice. Um, vlogs block is a real problem it seems. You should, you should play a drinking game of like, <laughs> to have a drink when I have a drink in my videos. Because you'll just die of over coffee poisoning. You should do that. I recommend that you do that. And then send me completely crazy, hopped up, caffeinated messages on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you aren't already. <laughs> um, yes, I'll put the link in the sidebar. Follow me on Twitter. I love it. I'm going to intersperse the footage of me dancing with this list of my favourite words. Subtle. Because I like that it has a B in, but you can't hear it. Because the B itself is subtle. Uh, archipelago. That's one of my favourite words. Uh, I've written loads and loads of poems about archipelagos and I kind of think that poetry is kind of like an archipelago because it's kind of a series of associated ideas, like a series of associated islands. And I live on an archipelago in the sense that the British Isles is like one of the weirdest archipelagos. And so is Japan, all of the, so is New Zealand, all of the kind of weird um, island countries, archipelago nations, all have them like weird kind of uptight things in common. So I like, I like the word, it's kind of a nice word, but for a long time I didn't know how to pronounce it. And then I saw a documentary about the Galapagos Islands that was narrated by Tilda Swinton, and she said archipelago, and I was like, Right, another word I like is diligent. It's something that's happy. Makes me laugh when I'm all alone. <laughs> because um, it's because the this it sounds so kind of light and picky that um, and because it, it's lots of up and down letters because it's lots of because it's I L L I with the D so it's D I L. L I. It kind of looks like it's um, really, really up high, looking down, being very particular. And I think it's nice. I think it's just, and it's kind of sweet as well because it's a word that people don't use that often. So when they do, they when people actually do use it, they're being especially diligent. Another word I like is smitten. Makes me laugh when I'm all alone. <laughs> Maybe it's. Oh, Not only because it's, it has the word mitten within it, which is good too, but because, um, and it sounds like kitten, and it, it kind of, all of these different words around it are very cute, so that kind of combines in this beautiful <laughs> concept of when you're smitten with someone, you're just complete, you're like a kitten with mittens about someone. I think that's about right. And I like that stanza. Maybe it's, um... Or maybe... Some people think... I know, because it's poetry and I'm a poetry nerd. Yes, but also because it's such a pretty word and it has an N and a Z next to each other, which is very unusual <laughs> and nice in the English language. And because stanza means to stand in Italian, and it means room. So, I was told it means room at uni. I hope it does, I haven't checked. But if it does, this is really good. Because a stanza is a section of a poem, like a room is a section of a house. So a poem is a house, 
and it stands out as a part of the house. And when you read a poem, you're walking through a house, stopping, standing in each room as you read each stanza. The other word is attic. Maybe it's... Uh... Or maybe... Some people think I'm merely... I like that because... Um, I don't know, it has a lot of... It has a lot of weird and bad associations, I think. As it's the kind of way you hide things, and it's kind of a dusty, dark, scary space with lots of spiders in them. But... Um, <clears throat> there are some places where you can go and you can find things. Like memories. The attic is kind of like the unconscious. Ah! That's embarrassing. The attic is like the unconscious of the house. Because it has everything, you, you kind of push everything away. And that you don't immediately need and put it up in the attic. And you kind of forget about it. But it's always there. And that's why I like the attic, because when you go there, you find stuff like the Christmas decorations and, like, old um, blankets from when you were a child, old toys and stuff, just weird objects that you used to love. Um, I just, they're still there, and they're kind of, you know, above us at all times. My final word is whimsy. <laughs> or maybe it's love. <laughs> I like that word. I like to aspire to that word because it has a kind of weird, <laughs> like a whim. A whim is such a beautiful thing because it's something small that you just kind of act upon. Um, and it's usually something very beautiful. That's what I think, anyway. So whimsy is the feeling of whim. Whim is a funny word, because it just has one vowel in it. It's surrounded by all of these weird... Like, it's kind of W-H-I is not a very common um, sound. And then to add an M and an S and a Y to that, it's kind of packing it with lots and lots of consonants that don't usually <laughs> act together. So it's nice. And in that way it works, because a whimsy is something unusual. And the word itself looks unusual, and it sounds unusual. So that's why I like it. And it's a concept that I think is very beautiful. So yes. Victory tip. Thank you for all of your comments. Um, the last video became the 50th most commented video within the YouTuber category in the UK for that day. Which is quite, ex which is quite exciting, I think. Um, I took a screen cap. Well, look, there's uh, my video. It's probably quite small. You can't see it, but it says 50th most discussed. And there's my face amongst all the other YouTubers. That's very exciting. Ah, 50. Because of you, all of your really lovely comments, and thank you for all of your suggestions. You kind of got me back on the wagon. And thank you, everyone, for all of your support. You're all really beautiful and wonderful. And thank you so much. I don't want to have to say it. Uh, that's it, okay. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Does anyone else wave back at the, the screen when they're watching YouTube videos and the person waits? Because I do that all the time. Literally, every time I'm watching a YouTube video and someone's like, Bye! When I'm sitting at my computer, I do it. I go, Okay, bye! <laughs> I think that shows, like... Uh, my view of reality is completely distorted, but there we go. <laughs> so way <wave> back. <laughs> or maybe it's 